There may be times when you want to add audio or narration into your book to help explain something in your book. In the case of our All About Me book, you might want to use audio to help explain how you want students to use different parts of your room. Or you might want to add some audio to help explain something that you like or something that you like to do, since this is an All About You book. Book Creator makes it really easy and simple to add audio to your book. Go ahead and tap on the plus sign in the top menu bar. Tap on the media tab at the bottom. And then tap on add sound. This brings up this simple recorder which will record whatever you want to say and add it to the page of your book. To get started all you need to do is tap on the red button to start recording. Speak whatever you want recorded into the book and then tap the red button again to stop. Let's go ahead and give it a try. This is my desk in the personalized learning work area. We have a flexible space work area, which means that not only do I have a desk, but we also have tables and chairs where we can work together or work with other departments or spread things out if we need to and kind of move around and switch places each day. Once you're finished recording and I've tapped that red button again, you'll get a little pop-up which will ask you if you want to use this recording. If anything happened while you were recording and you want to record again, just go ahead and tap on no and start over. If you're happy with the recording, go ahead and tap yes. And this will add this little audio hotspot or audio button to your page. As long as that's selected with the blue border, you can grab it and drag it around anywhere on the page. You can also try it out by tapping on that audio button. This is my desk in the personalized learning work area. We have a flexible space work area, which means that not only do I have a desk, but we also have tables and chairs where we can work together or work with other departments or spread things out if we need to and kind of move around and switch places each day. You can also make that audio hotspot button larger or smaller by dragging on those blue handles to make it just the right size. If you've used the Book Creator 1 or the free version of the app, you'll notice that the icon in the comic book version is just a little bit different looking, but it still works the same great way. You could also have students adding audio to their books to explain the work that they're doing in their book or explain their thinking to you.